What's up guys, Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming here, and guess what? We've got another challenge for LEGO DC Super Villains for you. This happens to be Poster Painter, where we're going to find 10 posters scattered throughout Gotham. That's right. We're also going to get a trophy achievement called Smile. That is actually for completing all 30 of the poster sprays. Now, 20 of those are actually found inside the free play or story levels. We got all of those wrapped up. We had 10 remaining left over in the free roam, and we actually knock them all out in this particular challenge so uh, pull up your map and toggle over to the challenges and look some recent unpleasantries means that Harvey Dent is probably not going to be re-elected as district attorney he's put up 10 posters in central Gotham that need to be defaced or er, ruined you can see they've got all sorts of kind of a cheat sheet of where they are like some clues and uh, thanks to Tyler P he actually went and used those clues and found the locations for us and gave us a little easier method defining things now we're gonna actually start off on the southwest kind of corner of the Gotham area and the reason is is because we found kind of a methodical order to get all of these in so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in check this out we've got one on this kind of a uh, pagoda like building over on the right it's got multiple tiers it's definitely part of Chinatown and you can see the poster just kind of hanging out there now all you got to do is get up next to it and use a character that can get their graffiti on somebody like the Joker or Harvey Dent now later I run not Harvey Dent did I say that I said Har Harley Quinn is what I meant to say say whirp, 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 whirp. anyways uh later i run into a situation where the joker cannot spray it's kind of a weird deal or a funny angle if you will but just simply approach the poster go ahead and get your spray on and of course take that ever so glorious selfie to go ahead and document that we've got one and done all right, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. We've got uh, this stairwell here. We're going to jump up to the top, look down at the street, and just jump right over the edge. I know it seems really sketchy, but that drops us right down on top of number two. So pretty easy peasy. This guy is just going to require, again, another quick spray here. Now, I got a little lazy on the map there, I think. I guess maybe not lazy, a little, a little too aware of what's going on there. I, you know, normally I speed up these videos. These challenges don't really need to be sped up, so I haven't sped them up at all. So some of my map showings and stuff are a little bit longer than they probably need to be. But all right, two down and eight to go. We're going to go ahead and switch to a character that can get their fly on. We're going to make it right up the stairs and hang a left and head back towards where we started on the water line. And we're actually going to go to the southwest corner for realsies this time. And it is kind of a lower level here. It's under the uh, upper deck there. So basically, there is a quest up top that you can see. Uh, and it's right there. It's right next to the quest. So, um, yeah. Anyways, find that. Get on down below and get your spray on. Next up, we, uh, we're going to make our way up and around the corner here and head down the street and kind of go underground almost. This one is probably one of the trickier ones. Uh, you know, I'm not sure what the uh, like the suggestion or the the hint is for it, but we're gonna go up the stairs. We're gonna go right past this building, and we're gonna drop off another ledge down below. Now you can see if, if Gotham City Dental Practice is right in front of you, you know you're headed the right way. Hang a hard left, and look at that! Right under this bridge here is the next poster waiting to get sprayed. So we'll go ahead and show you on the map. As you can see here, it is under the monorail system, but it's also under the street below the monorail system. So it's kind of a, a tricky spot to get to, but uh, if you follow our pathway from the poster number three, you should have no problem getting there. All right, four done. Let's go ahead and keep on keeping on. We're going to switch to Superman and get our fly on again. We're just going to follow the street down and around. We're going to go up these stairs into the train station here. And inside, we're going to find number five. So I try to, like, let Joker show up so that I don't have to switch characters. Because you can't use the toggle buttons here. Like, you know, often the game... This game's been really good about helping you choose the proper character, or at least the right ability, anyways. And, you know, I thought for sure that I would be able to just kind of wait for the Joker to show up so I could just kind of, you know, switch characters rather than you know actually change characters but anyways it did not work out in my favor but that's okay because the next one is actually really close to and we don't need any flying powers to get there so and none of them actually require flying it just certainly helps and look at that twins bezel we got both the jokers out running wild and uh, keep in mind too we do have a an attract red brick uh, or attract stud red brick on and we also have a 2x multiplier we never did go buy any of those other red bricks we'll probably buy them in our live stream when we do the character selection which uh, it's gonna be soon probably not this friday but probably next friday if you're watching this on release date so 
uh, you know, probably mid-November-ish if, if you're uh, tracking along with real time. All right, this guy was pretty easy to find, but he's kind of tucked away in that little room there. It can be easily missed, but just make sure you go under the old train station there and into that little secret cubby room. Next up, we're going to switch to a flying character yet again. Whoops, I switched to the wrong kind of flying guy. But uh, yeah, wait, wait, wait for it. There we go. Yeah, we're going to actually switch over and we're going to make our way to the left. But we're going to actually take a right and go up the stairs as soon as we can. So there's a stairway here. We're going to go up and around. And then we're actually going to hang a U-turn as soon as we get to the street. And turn around and look at the stairwell there. And guess what? We've got the next poster tucked in right there. All right, so, uh, yep, I kind of spin the camera around looking for my jokester, and there he is. And he's having a heck of a time getting up over there, but he eventually gets there. And it's the next one that actually I can't get. It's the weirdest thing. So uh, we'll check that out in a hot second. Now, keep in mind, too, we do have quick links down below in the video description. I'm not sure that I ever mentioned that. But uh, in all these challenge videos, there should be quick links as well as in our free play and free roams when they come out as well. So. All right, seven officially done. Next one, we're going to keep on keeping on down the street towards the, uh, well, I guess I can't tell if it's south or, I believe it is the east, but I'm, I, I'm probably wrong on that. Just follow the street down to the left from our last one, and then we're going to go down these stairs. So if you find the ice cream parlor, yep, it was the east, the ice cream parlor right next to the bridge, you should find a stairwell. We're going to go ahead and go down that, and we're going to trudge around a little bit as we got to go to, a, oh, more twins, what the heck? Uh, we could have gone on a double date with both of our jokers, huh? We're actually going to go to a split in the road and take a right. Now, you'll notice that there is another graffiti artist spraying, although he seems to have a, a clear, a transparent color of paint over there because he's getting his spray on pretty profusely, but there is nothing coming out of it. Now, this is that one that I was talking about in the beginning that I, for whatever reason, am, like, banned from spraying. So I kind of freaked out, and I thought, okay, well, maybe there's a territorial thing here. Maybe i got to take this guy down, but that's not the case. I, I give him the old cha-cha-cha-cha-cha, and look at that. Now i got the cops on me. i got a star rating, which... Honestly, I hadn't played enough of Free Roam to even know that you could do that. So apparently this is a lot more like, you know, Lego City Undercover than I thought because you could totally get a star rating or sort of in that. So similar. Now, I couldn't get up close and personal to get my spray on, so I did check my luck with another character, and it turns out it worked just fine. So I changed on over to Harley Quinn, and she can get the job done just fine. In fact, I'm going to have her finish out the remaining sprays just because. And all right, so this next one, we're going to look at that painting, and we're going to fly up, get a really close, uh, up close and personal look at the Ice Cream Factory sign, and we're going to fly right over the top of it and kind of lean to the left just ever so slightly. Once you get to the back side of that last building, you're going to drop down into the parking lot, and you should have landed right next to a police vehicle and next to number nine. Now we're going to go ahead and get our spray on after a quick peek at the old map there. And then we're going to drop down below to the lower level, L quite literally right below where we are. There is another underground road there, and that's where the 10th and final poster is going to be. So it was kind of weird how they scattered these out all through Gotham. However, there was certainly a few of them that were really close to each other. And I, I found that really fun. But at, as a collector, like... If I was trying to find these all on my own, I wouldn't expect some of these to be as close to the, each other as they are. So, you know, whatever's whatever. whatever. Uh, it's kind of a trick, trickster move, if you ask me. But uh, we're going to go ahead. I was, I was waiting for my sprayer to come ahead and show up, and he didn't show up, or she didn't show up. So I switched on over to, oh, the Joker. He gets it done one last time. So I was wrong. Harley didn't finish them all. But we officially have. So... Uh, hopefully you got all 10 of those posters, and if you got all of the posters in the free play slash story levels, Booyaka Show, you should have gotten that smile trophy achievement as well. So one quick peek at the overall challenge just to see that we did in fact get that star and all them check marks on all those hints. And oh, to the yeah, we certainly did. So that's going to wrap it up for LEGO DC Super Villains Poster Painter Challenge, where we found all 10 of those Harvey Dent posters. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you did, smash that like button and let us know by dropping a comment too. If you haven't already, check us out on social media. We have a thumby must see waiting for you. And uh, shout out to Warner Brothers for hooking us up with a copy of this game. It's been a blast. As always, though, until next time.